Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hola, familito. Um, so today's video is much lighter in content and um, much more just let's get back to it. Um, if you saw my previous video, which I will um, link to this video, it's basically a lot about the last few months for me and my experience working with Morphe. And again, I always want to put that disclaimer out there that it's not about bashing Morphe. It's just about my personal experience and some of the good and really not so great things that happened to me when I was there. Um, but again, it's not to offend anybody because I've met a lot of really great people. Um, I met a lot of cool people and I still continue to talk to a lot of really talented artists and individuals that work for the company. So, um, I haven't given up my faith on it. <laughs> I believe in people. I believe in good. I believe in kindness. And that's really just what I want to walk away from with it is just to not let it stop me from being who I am and continue to be nice to the people that are genuinely very nice and kind to me. So anyway, moving on from all the drama, I wanted to film a video and make it a little bit more quick and um, boom, 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 especially like skin portion because that can take a while. Um, but the reason I want to do that is because it can be very long, the videos and last video was obviously longer because of what I had to say, but I would like to do this quicker and try to work with some palettes and stuff, um, just to have fun. I don't even know the look I want to do yet, but let's just get into it and let's start, um, making something happen. So, so I am starting with my leveler primer from Beauty Blender. I'm really digging this product right now and just the beauty blender products in general so disclaimer note too i always start my makeup whenever i film with um usually freshly washed skin like freshly cleansed so um just so you guys know like I don't like to just go in on like dirty skin even like if I cleanse my face the night before wake up do my things I still like to cleanse and prep my skin before I put makeup on for me it just it just seems to work the best that way I love this Danessa Myrex illuminating veil you guys this is Serenity which has a pink kind of rose gold undertone which is crazy because I do have red in my skin so you would kind of think I wouldn't want to put any more pink or accentuate that but when I mix this with a more like golden yellow based foundation it just kind of melts away the pink and red in my skin but I still get this beautiful glow left behind from this product and even if I was to just go out and not put anything on I would still wear this just because it just gives such a beautiful sheen to the skin I'm coming closer so you guys can see that another thing you can add to give it more like luminosity and also a grip texture to your foundation is the Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm and this is a clear balm so I'm just going to actually work this in with the highlight because you can layer her products really nicely which is why I think I love them so much and I'm just going to add the balm in and just kind of add it in the areas that I know my makeup tends to slide a bit to add a little bit more grip. And it's great to use. Like I said, you can use this by itself, but you can also use it underneath your foundation and especially a full coverage long wear foundation. So I am just going in and smoothing out the foundation. I just take a very little bit of foundation that is left in whatever I poured out and I just kind of work that into the sponge and then press the remains into my skin so I don't want to waste any product and also just make sure that everything is really blended. I'm sure I go too heavy handed with concealer but I just love it so 
And I'm just going to take a little bit of the Jeffree Star Concealer and where I started to contour my nose, I'm just going to actually come in really close to that area. Just to really like highlight the sides of my nose. Like a little bit under here. And a little bit up at the brow bone. And the reason I do that is just because I want it to be a little bit more extreme, the contour and the highlight. So it just really like slims down my nose more. I'm going to take a beauty blender, which is already dampened, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it one more spritz just to make sure it's nice and ready to go. And we're going to start blending out the concealer. Now I'm going to go back in with my Juno and Co sponge and just kind of work this contour cream back up into the concealer just to kind of marry the colors together. And as you do that and you kind of work with different sponges, you should start to see the colors kind of blend together better so that it doesn't look like you have five different colors on your face. Once you reach that point, you know you can start setting the cream portion because everything's nice and blended. So that's when I usually go in with a fresh sponge. So I'll grab like a highlight contour sponge from Morphe and just squeeze it out because these do tend to hold a lot of water. So you really want to make sure that there's no water that's continuing to come out of your sponge before you use a sponge to powder. And then I'm going to just go into a blank canvas powder like RCMA. Um, this is what it looks like. No color powder. You guys can see that. And I love using something like that because again, there's no color, there's no transfer to it. And it's just great just to set your face with. Um, for baking, I do use the Fair Powder from Ben Nye because it is a little bit more um, pigmented and it's brightening so I like that for when it's time to bake but just to set and lock this in place I'm going to take that no color powder and actually just tap it out because I don't want it super heavy because again we're not baking you put it on thicker when you bake this just helps lock everything in place you can even put it over where you contoured because it's not going to affect your color. For a contour powder, I'm going to change it up today and actually use the Milani um, Sunkissed Eclat en Soleil um, Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. And this is um, Tropical Coconut Scented. I don't know how to smell that. <laughs> but it's very blendable, streak-free, white, whiteless, weightless and long wearing. Oh my good, Nicole. Can I talk today? Thank you. Um, but it is a very long wear product. And as you can see, I do love it. I'm hitting Pam on it and I'm going to apply that with an angled brush from Morphe and basically just go ahead, work this in where you placed your cream. I like to pat first and press it into the skin and then go in and start blending. Before I go ahead and start baking my under eyes, I always like to put my um, eyeshadow base on first because I find that it is very thick and tacky, the P. Louise. So I like to apply that and make sure it is good and ready to go before I start to bake my eyes. So I'm going to take that and a P. Louise um, brush as well. And we're just going to press this onto our eyelid. And this just really creates a beautiful canvas. I, I say this a lot in my videos or if you've seen my IG videos on Instagram. But I love, love, love. I love Pete Louise. Then I always go in with a small Morphe sponge. And this is the Morphe X Jeffree Star collection. I love these sponges. I, I think they're honestly softer than the Morphe ones, but I love both. As you can see, I use the original Morphe, but this collection just speaks to me because it's soft 
and it's pink and it's flirty and it's Jeffrey. So now I'm going to go ahead and start baking with my Ben Nye Fair Powder. And this I actually got on um, CameraReadyCosmetics.com. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really love them because you can find a lot of these great makeup artists um, kit products that you see a lot of people use in professional makeup, um, television makeup, special effects, all that good stuff. So my son just brought me a bunch of packages. Um, this quarantine needs to stop soon, y'all, because my Amazon Prime account is like, cha-ching, 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 like every day. It's bad. So I have the Morphe Sweetie palette here, which I love because it's super bright and colorful and glittery. But then I also have the um, Anastasia Norvina palette. This is the Norvina collection, and I believe this one is number one. Um, so this has all these beautiful purples and stuff in it. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what's it's so like. I wanted to do a kind of neony look today, so maybe I'll do something like that. But the first thing I do want to do is prep my lid. So to do that, I'm going to go into my Norvina palette real quick. And um, I want to grab C1, which is just a nice soft matte white to really prime this lid area. So I'm going to go right here on the inside corner and then bring it up across the brow bone and just kind of work it across the entire space here just to prime the lid and make sure that all the colors will pop beautifully. So I think what I'm going to do now is um, put this palette down for a quick second and then go into the Morphe Sweetie palette. And I want to grab this color, um, India Woe, and just kind of use that in the crease just as like a nice little warm peach just to kind of tie this color together. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not putting a whole lot of this down. I just want it to, you know, kind of warm up the crease ever so slightly and just create again that nice transition. And I'm bringing a little bit in the corner here. Whatever's kind of left on the brush, I'm just kind of like working it into the corner of my eye here. This is an Anastasia A12 brush if you guys were curious to know. I'm going to grab a Morphe 573 and start working with Max Volume, which is this really pretty hot pink magenta. And I'm going to start working that right here in the crease. And I'm going to bring a little bit of that onto my lid. So I'm pressing it in first. And then I'm just very gently kind of buffing it. I don't usually do like super bright tropical looks, but I thought, what the hell? What the hell? Um, we need to try something different. I'm going to drop down to a little bit of a smaller brush, which is the 433. And using that same color, that hot pink max volume, I want to just make sure that I press this onto my lid. And work this up into the crease. So I'm going to dust that um, 433 off. And now we're going to go into, I wanted like an in-between color to this um, purple that's in here, the major inspo. So to do that, I'm actually going to go into um, the Anastasia palette. And I'm going to use the color B1, which is this kind of like magenta purple, pink, purple purple pink purple <laughs> and it's a little bit deeper than the first color we put down not a whole lot but it's just enough and I just kind of want to add a little pop of that in here just to help us transition to a darker purple now we'll put her away and go back into the Morphe palette and using that same brush I'm going to grab a little bit of this Max Inspo, which is a really, or excuse me, Major Inspo, which is a really nice um, purple grape color. And I want to start working that into the lid. And 
and I'm kind of going back and forth over the other purple color just to again blend these colors together and create a nice transition just press 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 back and forth turn your brush sideways work it into the crease a little and then I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit and go into Rider Sky which is this really beautiful blue I'm gonna start pressing that on the outside corner. Now I'm gonna start working this around the outside corner here. And bring it up into the crease and working it into the other colors as well. I want this to be the statement color. But remember color theory? You are adding blue to a hot pink, so you're getting a little more of that violet tone. So just, you know, be mindful of that when you work with colors and if you want to blend. What I love about the Anastasia palette, too, going back to the Norvina, is that you have that beautiful white in there, too. So you can kind of pastelize, if that is even a word, pastel eyes. E-Y-E-S, A, um, <laughs> you can pastelize any color. So you can brighten it that way just by working with a lighter color. But I'm digging this um, blue purple moment. Is it blue? Is it black? Is it gold? I mean, what is it? So I'm going to go back into that 573 in that hot pink color. And I just kind of want to work that a little bit more in the front here and just blend it into the crease. And then I'm also going to go into, this is a J star brush, which I feel like it's permanently like stained, but I've been <laughs> wiping it down just to use, um, to blend today. But this is the JS five. These natural hair brushes can do that sometimes, but I want to take this actually and dip it back into that India woe, which is that peachy color and just grab like a very little bit of that and come right on the top here and work that into these colors just to smooth out my crease a little bit. And we are just barely touching the colors because again, we want our eggs light and fluffy. So we want a nice fluffy diffused finish. And it's just great because you get this super hot vampy like corner moment and then everything in the crease is diffused and that's how I like it. Ay. Now to start working on the lower lash line, I'm going to use an E37 from <laughs> Morphe, what else? And we're going to grab um, Rider Sky and that purple. And I kind of want to blend them together just to create like a nice deep purple. And this is a very fine point brush. So again, just press, press, press. And we're just kind of using this to attach the um, top to the bottom. Now using that same brush, I'm going to grab this really pretty hot pink color and we're going to pull that into the front portion of our lower lash line. I remember being in beauty school and thinking to myself, when am I going to use this damn color theory? And I hated it and it was so boring and I would sit there and just get so annoyed because I didn't want to do it and I didn't want to learn it and I didn't want to look at the color wheel for like three hours a day. But now I know why. <laughs> so I'm going to take a small um, E30 from Sigma and go into that really pretty peachy color that we've been using to kind of buff out and transition. And I want to start bringing that underneath the line that we drew. So this is just a nice way, again, to blend out and soften. I swear, this reminds me of like an 80s fanny pack that I'm pretty sure I had. Now I'm going to kick it up a notch even more. Using that peachy color, I'm going to mix it with um, Get the Shot, which is like a really pretty kind of like mustardy bright yellow. And by mixing those two together, we're kind of getting an even lighter orange tone. And I want to go even further down now using a very small detail fluffy brush. This is the M562 from Morphe. And this is a great way to blow out the lower lash line. But because it is such a um, fluffy 
light brush you're not getting a whole lot of placement which is nice so you're not going to look like you are jaundice you're just going to look like you have a nice little yellow smoky moment underneath this gorgeous dark dreamy eye now I need a lid color, you guys, because even though I love the mattes, it's super pretty. I want to add a little pop of fun to this look. So I think what I'm going to do is grab these glitter stars that are in this palette. And basically it's chunky, like damp glitter, but also like actual pieces of like, like flecks of stars. So I'm going to try to pop that right in the middle. Um, but I'm also going to take a little bit of this color, Private Oasis, and just add a little bit of that reflective color into that. And I think it just creates a really cool lid moment. And I'm actually going to bring the stars up into the crease a little bit too. And I'm going to grab, again, more of the reflective color and just put that on the sides here. But this palette is so much fun, you guys. I mean, it is so... Look at that. So loud and fun. It's so Coachella that we're not going to have right now. It's so music festival, fun, hippie, tie-dye, goodness. Um, and you know what? Bring it to your living room. Bring it to your bedroom. Do something to make yourself feel good during these quarantine times, you guys. All right, guys. So I picked up this Maybelline um, liquid eyeliner. It's called the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. And you give it a little shakesy. And it looks kind of like an octagon shape. I don't know. It's just like totally slim, thin. Does seem like you have to shake it to kind of activate it. Um, but I usually use the um, Morphe Ink Liner, and I've been really liking the L'Oreal Matte Signature Liner too, which is a great product. But I figured I was out, I was you know shopping, I had to get some groceries and stuff, and I was like, let me swing by the makeup section uber quick because you know I'm not trying to be in the grocery store that long anymore. <laughs> and I saw this, and I was like, okay, let's give it a try. But it has a super fine point to it. So let's see how it goes. So that's not bad, you guys. It's definitely super pigmented. Um, it definitely glides on pretty easily. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day. This is a small like marble definer brush from BH. And I'm going to grab the color Private Oasis and pop that on the inside corner of this look just to add some brightness and also kind of work it up into this cloud of glitter so it has like hints of pink in it and blue and green like it's just so different and then of course you know we've got the spotlight stealer which is also on the lid um, but it's just a beautiful, like, glittery explosion, and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I went ahead and put on some brows, and I'm just going to go ahead now and dust away some of that bake. So I'm just going to take this Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH14, and I'm just going to grab a little extra powder just in case we have fallout from the blue and the purple, which can easily happen. And I'm just going to dab, dab, dab that into the brush and just make sure everything is smooth. Okay, so I'm going to actually go in and just warm up my cheeks a little bit using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love the butter bronzer because it's just so smooth and it does have a sheen to it. So I find that at the very end of a colorful look, when you want a little more glow and a little bit more warmth, if you add this on, it just kind of warms up the face again. Because you'd be surprised how much your skin absorbs products as you're going through your routine. So for this look, I actually want to do like a pretty hot pink kind of blush. So I'm going to actually go back into that Anastasia palette and I'm going to grab um, a three, which 
or excuse me, A5, which is like a true hot pink, and then that B1, which is like a hot magenta pink. So it's this one over here and this one up here. And I'm gonna kind of blend those two together on a Morphe blush brush. This is the M105. And as you can see, it's super pigmented on my hand here. But then I'm gonna grab a little bit of a sheen color that's also in this palette and add a little bit of sheen to it. And I'm gonna first kind of press it and then blend it upward towards my hairline. Very similar to how I apply my bronzer just because I really want this to stay put and then you can always tone down to like if you look at it and you feel like okay I want it to go heavy-handed but I want a little too much just go back in with a sponge or a brush and just gently kind of press it and the color will subside a little bit all right now for mascara I curled my lashes I'm gonna use my favorite right now which is the Kush mascara from milk this is a sample size and I love it I got it from Sephora Hey guys so these lashes are super super cool they're really thick and fun and vampy and I think it goes great with this kind of a uh, look um, they're called flirt and they are by star girl cosmetics and they're super super affordable um, and really awesome so let me give you guys here the hashtag is star girl babe if you purchase it and it's stargirlcosmetics.com you can also find them on Instagram and they're really really great um, love it super vampy um they remind me a lot of like a lily lash just very thick curled flirty and fun so i'm gonna go ahead and line my inner rim with coconut from morphe and this is just to kind of help um, offset the lashes a little bit it also gives you that kind of barbie doll baby doll eye so it just gives it a brighter more um lifted finish and then since we're so glowy already, we might as well add a little bit of a cheek glow. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, Private Oasis again from the Saweetie palette in a Jaclyn Hill highlighting brush. And we're just going to take a little bit of that and pop that right on the high point of the cheek here. Yes, I love, love, love it. And then for lips, I want to keep the lips really soft and flirty. So I'm going to grab Backseat Love, which is a lip liner from Morphe. And let me get my little mirror here, my Jeffree Star. And this is like a really soft kind of like nude peachy color. So I think it'll offset all the pinks and purples and blues. All right, so now that we have that on, I'm going to go ahead and actually put a little bit of Jeffree Star concealer in the center of my bottom lip. So it creates a really pretty ombre effect. And then to top it off, I want to go into the Morphe um, Saweetie Collection Lip Trio. These are like Icy Lips Gloss and use Boss Tycoon. Yes, I love the pasty nude lip when you have a lot going on on your eyes because it just definitely gives a beautiful balance to the face so that it doesn't look too over the top and too clown like. But if you want to go there, go there because honey, do you. <laughs> so now we need to finish this look off and we need to um, rehydrate the face stat because there's so much powder and everything going on. So I'm going to use my Luminous Setting Mist um, Glow Get It from Morphe cosmetics all right guys so this is the finished look and I love it look at all that glitter honey <laughs> um so so pretty love 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 it so much fun i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with me um getting trying to get back into the swing of things trying to really try out products and stuff that i have literally had here in my collection just kind of like sitting waiting to be used um 
because yeah, when I was working at Morphe, I was so, so grateful and I got so many beautiful products. So that's why I do use a lot of their products um, in my tutorials. But then obviously too, I have a lot of products that I like to use personally or that I'm picking up as I go and trying things out. So if there's any kind of look that you want to see, um, any kind of product you want me to test out, let me know, comment down below. Of course, it is a YouTube channel. So like, share, subscribe, comment, all that beautiful stuff. Um, I have social media linked down below. So that's also great if you guys want to follow me on other places. And yeah, I just hope you guys are taking really good care of yourselves, being safe, practice your social distancing. It is so hard. I know I'm even um, an introvert and I find it hard because even though I love to be home, I love to space myself out from people, I do need energy and people to thrive and ultimately get by. That's just, I mean, that's just life. So anyway, um, take good care of yourselves and I'll see you guys again really soon.